Okay, you've made it past the first round. Not too shabby. I'm sure Mr. Vitale will agree there's still plenty of games left to play, and one of them is this second round game between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Houston Cougars. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Cougars know they're in for a fight tonight, Dick. What are their keys to succeed this evening? Hey, if you ask me, the keys are simple, Brad. Number one, try not to give up any good looks from the outside. Next, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Third, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Well, Dick, that didn't take very long. I tell you, they're quick out of the gate, baby. Looking for a good shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He keeps his dribble as they reset. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the three ball. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He fouled him. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. And the ball goes out of bounds. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. The center handles the pass for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Down inside, the skip pass is picked off. Bland is animated and ready to go. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Trying to feed the low block. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you're kidding me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Land in the paint. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Watch out. Five second call approaching. Thinks about the shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Whitehead handles the feed. It'll be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. 
That spin move not successful, Dick. I think that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. There's the trap. They say, forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post play. Booker receives the pass. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Oh, yes. Let's slow this one down on a replay. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. High post flashes. Chapman receives the ball. He makes the shot. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. The ball goes out of bounds. On the outside. And they come with a double team to stop it. He gets the rejection. They push it up on the break. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity. He rejects it. Now they'll bring it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Now on the break. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Now trying to feed the low block. Takes away the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Great play to take that to the basket. They go into the low block. Launches the three. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. And again, they look to run. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration in that possession, Brad. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. You've got that right, Brad. The Aggies are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes it. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Three off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. 
He uses the shot fake for two. Perfectly executed. That's an 8-0 run. Intercepted. On the outside, he's got an open look for the shot. He dials long distance. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Has a nice look at the basket. He takes a three. He gets it to fall. He attempts the three, way off target, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The center takes the pass in the paint. Taken away. Pushes it up. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. <laughs> for the bucket, this one looks to be headed for a blowout. Someone better step up in a hurry, baby. Didn't give it to him down low, going the other way. Boy, terrible execution on offense. They work the perimeter. He takes the shot. Great shot. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. Thanks, Aaron. Shoots from the top of the circle. Oh, you gotta knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. You gotta eliminate those turnovers. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He shoots from the top of the key. The Aggies have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Strips the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Working it around the perimeter. Defense giving some room. Gave it up. 
side of the circle. A commanding lead here early. It could turn into a blowout, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Fires away. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Steals a pass. perimeter goes up for two great play to take that to the basket <laughs> gotta think right now gotta focus defensively Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip I'll tell you one thing he's trying to deny the ball initially but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off And momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets it to go. Entry pass in the paint. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That he's on fire. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Texas AM are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They're working around the arc. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Maroon. He strips him clean. Transition opportunity coming up. Basket's good, plus one. He showed how a senior is supposed to play in big games, baby. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad. He'll go to the line. He hits it. On the outside. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. He unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. The crowd's reaction says it all. They're extremely disappointed, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes the first. Both free throws go. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Gave it up. Here's a double team. He puts up the three ball. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 42, pump fakes. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. 
elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nesla. How much fun would that be? Got an open look if he wants it. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Gave it up. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's <laughs> pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Takes the pass in the... It counts! And the senior leader will go to the free throw line. Don't deny him on that play, Brad. That's huge. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Turnaround jumper. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. They work the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. We get another look. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Fakes a jumper. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Puts it up. Makes the shot. Up and inside. He shoots from right of the circle. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. He makes the block. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. In the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Moving it around the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta. It sticks. There's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Shot clock is dead. 
Working it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. They get out on the break. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Roll it back, fellas. At the end of the first half, the Aggies are up by 18. It's been an entertaining one so far, Dick. We can say that. What's your play of the half? You have to talk about this trifecta for the highlight of the first half, Brad. After this shot, you really saw the defense have to stretch out, which opened up the inside game. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Houston just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. Hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of this game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. The Cougars are trailing by 18. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Tries for two. In and out. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots from left of the circle. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Stolen ball. Rejects it. Back they come the other way. For two. Was that beautiful or what? Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him. He just gets up to make the block. Buried it. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Dumps it in. Intercepted. The shooting guard with the ball. They're off into transition. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. They've left him completely alone. The Aggies have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. 
You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. He pump fakes. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Up fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Oh, the pick comes back to haunt the screener that time. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. The center gets the pass. And off the mark. Great defense. Foul charge. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. it no problem so far at the free throw line tonight Dick well they're making the most of the free ones try to come up with a steal and they do for the bucket you bet you they're working around the perimeter from right of the circle he shows the sweet touch. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, Flop City! I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Got a man in high post. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The power forward gets the ball. He shoots from left of the circle. Rims out. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Picked off. it inside for the bucket Houston have a nice little run going here can they keep it up though no one's proven otherwise just yet Brad they work it around the perimeter fronts him first Dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and he made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us Unloads a three. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. For the deuce. Can't get the shot to go. And he scores despite the hack.
Dump it inside. He shoots from downtown. They let him get into a rhythm. Puts up the tray. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. He hits it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. He gets the bucket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Makes the foul shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. He takes it away. Here they go, into the break. Trying to draw some contact. He gets the shot to fall. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, man, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. They're working around the arc. Moving it around the perimeter. The point guard takes the pass. He shoots from right of the circle. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. screen there they come with a double team to stop it he puts up the tray the Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised at how this one's turned it out. I definitely didn't expect this. He intercepts it. Length of the floor. Tries for two. It's good.
pressure that basketball. Good job defensively. The power forward takes the feed. There's the fake. He shoots from the top of the circle. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. From way outside, he gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The Aggies to find a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. They work it around the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shot, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Sinks the shot. And the ball goes out of play. High post player flashing. Try to pack it inside. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. <laughs> they work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. With a great block. Way off target. From downtown. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. Double team now, bad angle. For two, drops the bucket despite the harm. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's a double team waiting there. Tries to get the D to bite. Takes it off him. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Stolen away. Dick, you were a math teacher. Mathematically, I think this one's over. He hit the deuce, and the foul is called. Nice job of absorbing the foul and keeping his focus.
Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants them to turn it up a notch. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. And we'll go to the free throw line. Sinks it. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. He comes away with it. They get it out in the transition. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. Aliou looking for the foul. Off the rim and no good. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job look at that spacing they'll work it around the arc 10 on the shot clock perfectly executed Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Pump fakes. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Goes up for two. Nice shot! They work the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling the blood. <laughs> Up and inside. From right of the circle. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. <laughs> the defender is still applying great blood pressure, Brad. Fakes the shot. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here they come now on a turnover. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He attempts the three. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. There's the screen up on top. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Steals a pass. Shot clock is dead. And the ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. the dribble gives it up turnaround jumper nothing but nylon nice smooth turnaround jumper the only negative he's falling away if he misses he's got no rebound in the building <laughs> a 
Throws it up. Looking for contact. Got to make that baby have a wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass. Easy goose. Nick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. He misses the second shot. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you've got to win it, keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Rob, and you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Texas A&M graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.